These kids may not be old enough to vote in the election tomorrow, but they were able to vote for the school president. It's all part of the mock presidential election hosted by teachers in the Baldwin Whitehall School District. The goal is to teach first graders about the importance of voting. So joining me now live over Zoom are Katie Richter and Ellie Tensha, two of McAnaldi's first grade teachers behind this whole Rock the Vote project. Thank you both for taking the time to talk with us tonight. Thank you for having us. So these students of yours can't vote tomorrow, but could you tell us a little bit about who they could pick between for your special election? Sure. Well, we told them that they were voting for the president of McAnaldi Elementary School. And since it was so close to Halloween and our Halloween thought costume theme this year was animals, um, we decided to dress up in costumes. So I was Mike the monkey. And I was Sally the shark. <laughs> and those were the two candidates that they had to choose between. And we made sure that the issues that those candidates were presenting to the students were things that were really important to them, like gym every day or pizza for lunch or um, having the opportunity to pick which classmates they would have in their classroom. And we also posed some negative thoughts to them, things like, OK, you get gym every day, but unfortunately, you won't be able to have recess outside. So it really made the students have to think about the choices that they had heard and which candidate best represented the things that they wanted. I like that. Yeah, you could have ice cream every day, but then you couldn't have pizza, which is a very Correct. difficult decision for a first grader to make. How did they, how did the students encourage their classmates to vote for their preferred candidate? So we actually um, had the students make campaign signs for whichever um, Mike the Monkey or Sally the Shark, whichever candidate they were in support of. Um, so they had to make a sign um, that kind of gave a reason as to why they wanted that candidate to win and um, they posted it in a discussion board for their classmates so that you can see that um, one little boy is holding up the signs on the screen um, and they had to post that in a discussion board for their classmates to see and then they could see each other's discussion board and watch and respond to each other um, so it was kind of neat to see the kids reacting to each other's opinions and stating their own opinion so it was kind of cool the whole process was neat future politicians at work. How, how did the students then they cast their ballots after the discussion board or that was during the discussion board? We created an electronic ballot since most of the students were voted from home. Uh, so we just used a Google form and sent that to all of the students and they were able to use um, picture clues as well as words since we're still learning to read in first grade to pick the candidate that they liked best. Um, and so their ballot was secret uh, just as if they were voting out in the public. Why do you think it's important for these little ones to have a knowledge of voting? Um, we think it's important that we stay relevant with what's happening, you know, in our community. You know, they're definitely seeing signs and hearing their parents talk about, you know, the election that's happening this week. Um, so we think it's important to make sure the kids are understanding that whole process, even on a very basic level. So they have the idea, you know, eventually when they do get older, the importance of you know, why it's important to vote and, you know, make your opinion heard, so. Well, also it's important since I'm sure they're hearing about it from their parents and now they can feel included. Who ended up winning? Well, they, the students don't know yet, so we're not sure if we should spoil. <laughs> no, don't spoil it. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Katie, <laughs> <laughs> Katie and Ellie, thank you for taking the time to speak with us tonight. Thank you thank so you. much for having us.